Like herding cats, because people don't listen. They're just trying to take a photo. No way. Going to get our passports. Just waiting for our appointment time. Come on, guys. Make sure the lights are off, doors are locked. BG, guys! BG, guys! Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night Hello my friends, I'm Danielle and this is Hogan Life. It isn't every day we do a trip this big. In fact, the last one was six years ago and I had fewer children. But this is our Fiji adventure. I hope you enjoy it. These past two weeks, I wondered how I could put into words the observations and sensations I had from being with the Fijian people. In an effort to be succinct, I will just say that there is something different about this place. And I believe the greatest difference is that as a people, they believe in God and don't compartmentalize their belief in God to a Sunday devotion or a five minute Bible time in the morning. They would no more withdraw from conversation about God at their own jobs than they would in their own homes. It doesn't seem contrived or forced. It's just an effortless inclusion of God in their everyday existence. This reality impacted me greatly. I spoke to a woman serving food by the pool and asked if she ever stopped being amazed by the beauty. She said, never. I am always grateful. Even for the rain, I am grateful. Oh, well, I've had a glorious reprieve from all electronics. My cell phone has been in a drawer and it has been quite refreshing. So even taking pictures, I just took a break and highly recommend it. Also, it was more a matter of necessity because the rain was so intense. I even got my cell phone wet one day and then had to dry it out for 24 hours. And then when the sun did come out, I just, I enjoyed it. And then my skin burned all night long. My sunburn is finally fading. It's amazing when you come from a dry climate, you are not used to the intense rains. So when people say flooding, you're like, flooding, yeah. I'm trying to make it to church, but it's canceled. Everything's flooding. Ah! I have very high expectations when it comes to a family vacation. So I have to really narrow them down and pinpoint what it is I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is moments together, free of the distractions that are so plaguing in our culture devices, cell phones, quickness to respond to any little thing that comes through with a beep or a buzz, activities, even little things like going to the grocery mart together, 
We had the best day kayaking. My kids and I kayaking yesterday it was so fun. I loved it, but my arms are sore. There's something so profoundly special about traveling with my sisters because of all the cousins. Well, also my sisters are so special to me, but all the cousins, they play so well together and they just, they, they build memories just by having their adventures and it's amazing. I love to be a part of that. It's such a very free and safe place. What I do love about Fiji is it feels safe. Simple things like jogging down the street by myself feel safe. We were just in a torrential downpour. All right, I want you to see this. Chris went spear fishing. Now we're going to cook up what he caught. If you're wondering what we eat while we're here, we are eating a lot of avocados. We don't eat out a lot, barely at all. So we find what is authentic to the area and we buy that stuff. We buy pineapples and bananas, avocados. We got cucumbers, lots of bread and butter. Butter is so good. Milk. Now we're doing some chicken and then we're gonna eat up that fish. gratitude towards God about life and family and beauty and simplicity is a pervading presence here. It seems they would never be so absurdly idiotic as to look at the beauty around them and not attribute it to a divine creator. A great design must have a great designer. So without all the higher academic education, I find here a true and vibrant wisdom. What's going on here? All the cooking. Woo! Get rid of this, get rid of the hairy, make it smooth. Yeah, this one. But not this one. All right, so here is the remnants of our feast. Wow, this is delicious. On the bulabat. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them so many. Say. How's the dinner coming, babe? Slow, slow going. <laughs> slow going. Noodles. Pooh bears in Fiji. I have not traveled extensively, but I have been a few places, all before I had children. I've been to Guatemala, to Mexico, okay. to France, England, Spain, Italy, and the Czech Republic. If you have traveled to different countries, you get a sense about the place by your experience with people. I have met wonderful people everywhere I've traveled. Kind people, interesting people, and intelligent people. But I've never experienced people as a whole being so utterly genuine and welcoming as the Fijian people. Oh, look at that. Take two. It's a beautiful day. But we do enjoy all the resort traditions and the culture of the people they bring in. The fun performances, the fire dances, the twilight torch lighting, and of course, the poolside bingo. Here we are. Oh, I forgot my hat. We actually make friends here. We go to the local church, take the public buses, go to the marketplace. Most of all, I loved detaching from a culture of constant busyness and need to do more. Detaching from devices where every access to every drama and every piece of news is sometimes just too tempting. I enjoyed reading, playing with my kids, having adventures as a family, talking, walking, laughing, connecting, and breathing, and listening to the birds and the frogs and the ocean waves.
guys had the funnest time today? I want to take a minute to talk about the cost of a trip of this magnitude. I am always curious when I see travel vlogs how much a family would have to save to see different parts of the world. A trip of this nature for a family of nine seems like it would be too costly and therefore just not doable. So let me break it down a little bit. I do this because I would be curious myself and maybe I could satisfy your curiosity. We do have a timeshare over here on Denaru, so we saved our credits for a three year period. So this did take some planning, but then we had accommodations for the full two weeks. The most costly part was our plane tickets, which ended up being about 6,700 for nine of us. But we had been saving travel points on our credit card for about four years, and so half of the plane tickets were paid with travel points. I'm not even gonna add in food because we actually ate cheaper in Fiji than we do at home. We didn't eat out and we shopped where the local people shop. We ate avocados, eggs, bread, milk, butter, pineapple, coconut. Our menu was pretty simple. Noodles, chicken, fresh fish. I do think my kids practically lived off peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> wow, you are really good. I, there was one over here. The four oldest kids saved money over the last few months to put towards small trips. So they did a snorkeling adventure with their dad, and they also went and saw a rugby game. And they paid for it themselves. The transportation was another cost. The local transportation was pretty cheap, just a couple dollars. Well, it's our last day. Last night was our last night, and we are leaving at 9.45 tonight for another all-night flight home. Sometimes you're ready to go back home after this long of a trip and feel like we could last longer here. The kids are just so content. Meeting so many nice people from New Zealand and Australia. We all our stuff all over the bed. We're trying to get packed. There's our baggage. Packing the carry-ons. Trying to eat the rest of our food chicken cooking. Traveling with kids is not without its inconveniences. The travel was long, the sleep was slim, and tired kids make for cranky kids. But it was overall a tremendous experience. An adventure that brought us closer as a family and I think impacted our future. Thanks for watching Hogan Life. If you haven't already, subscribe. On this channel, I like to talk about everything mom related. I'll see you next time.